Miss seeing Sister Michelle since her usual spot would not be vacant. However, we know she has gone to occupy a special place prepared to her in heaven. We are praying for you, family and friends. May the Lord bless each of you for all you have done to support and care for Sister Michelle. Lovingly, Pastor the Hampton and Congregation, <coughs> Church of God, will for you bless us to Jackson, Michigan. Amen. To the family of Sister Michelle Harris, Brother Michaelis, family, and church family. <laughs> As you go through this time of pain and loss, there is one remedy, the faithfulness of God. He was there, so we don't have to remind him of our situation. He understands. His compassion has been evident from the start. He is Alpha and Omega. He knows the beginning, middle, and the end. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose, Romans 8, 28. God's time, timing is perfect. When you can't walk, he will carry you. He sees the tears you cry and he cares, knowing just how much you can bear. Yes, at this hour, you can trust the faithfulness of God. Brother Harris and families, you are in our thoughts and prayers that God will sustain you. Respectfully submitted, Pastor Prince E. Moon and Church of God family in Macon, Georgia. To the family of the late Conchita Michelle Harris, on behalf of the Springfield Grand Avenue Church of God congregation, we would like to extend our deepest condolence to the beloved family and friends of Sister Conchita Michelle Harris. The past we shared with Sister Michelle has many fond memories. Some of the saints worship with Sister Michelle at the Church of God on 1819 West Washington Street in Springfield, Ohio. Sister Michelle was shy until you got to know her. She loved her family and the saints. While growing up, Sister Michelle was able to help her mother in taking care of the household of the housekeeping duties for the church. She was able to help in the kitchen and work during the fellowship meetings and other special church events. She also had a strong, awesome voice when she sang in the choir. She loved to travel with the saints, whether it was for sightseeing trips, fellowship meetings, camp meetings, or child church outings. Sister Michelle will be greatly missed. For the Michaelis, Sister Michelle, and family, we are praying that God will comfort your hearts and sustain you during this difficult time of reunion. Submitted by the Grand Avenue Church of God Ministry, Board of Trustees, and Congregation. Amen. Amen. Thank God for those expressions, condolence, letters, and acknowledgments. At this time in the program, there is space for ministerial, ministerial remarks. Is there any ministers that have any remarks at this time?
at the last trump. But you know, sometimes the story needs to be told that Jesus gives us blessings while we're here on earth. This family has been a blessing to me. When I met my wife, I was single man, running around, no direction. But I met a wonderful person here in Springfield. And I'm from Chicago. I just recently took her back to the Windy City where we just did a memorial for my brother and for his wife. And you know, folks, I'm tired of being at funerals. I'm tired of what happens in life. But I'm also thankful for the fact that we recognize good people. We recognize good families. As we were sitting there in Chicago, well, I was just talking to Rick, and I'm, I'm from Chicago, he was talking about getting lost on a toll road, cost him $207. I said, well, sometimes you got to know where you're going. And sometimes a good family helps you go in the right direction. Now, when I was in Chicago, I was doing everything that I was old enough to do. Some of y'all understand that. But when I got here to Springfield and met my wife, now I already knew, had been through theology school, knew what I was supposed to do. And I was running everywhere but to where I had to. But I met a Christian woman. In there, she got me back involved in church. And as the Lord told me to do stuff, she never has said, don't do it. Now, I retired a few years ago, but even though you retire from a secular job, understand something. When you pick up two churches, the pastor can tell you there's no such thing in retirement. You get phone calls day and night. I've done several funerals. I am so glad to be here, but sad to be here. Because every time I've been around the family here, it's been mostly at funerals. And I'm hoping that one day we do something outside of this. But it's been a wonderful family. I can honestly say that the blessings of this family that we may one day meet in heaven. Thank you. Amen. Just a few words I want to give Brother Michael is our deep uh, condolences and praying for you. Uh, you suffered loss the last couple of years, your wife first and now your sister. We know that that can definitely be a heavy day, but we're definitely praying for you. We love you, Brother Michael. There's just a special place that Brother Michael has in my heart. Just a Sweet brother, you, you won't find uh, between him and his sister, you probably won't find just a sweet pair of siblings. <laughs> First, it started with Mother Harris. Come on, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, Brother Michael, Sister Harris, Sister Michelle, followed in her wonderful footsteps. And so, to Brother Michael, we just want to let you know we love you, we're praying for you, Sister Pam, that confidant, that cousin, that close companion to Sister. Michelle, love you and appreciate you as well. You know, as I was thinking about uh, Sister Michelle and her life, I was, first scripture that came to my mind was over in 2 Corinthians 12, where Paul had mentioned the thorn in the flesh. And the Bible says that he prayed three times that the Lord would take it away. And the Bible says, Jesus said unto him, my grace is sufficient for you. And, and you know, that's the testimony that Sister Michelle left. Yes. That even yes. as low as you might get, no matter where you are, God has grace yes. to keep you with a 
excellent, with a good, with the right spirit, yeah. no matter what you're dealing with. Yeah. And saints, that's a testimony, saints of God. Yeah. You need to tell me we can be in pain, we can be in difficulties, we can be going through trials, but you won't even know or tell the difficulty that an individual is going through. It's because of the grace of God. Yes. And I believe right after that, Paul said, I would most gladly rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon them. And thanks to God, that's what it's all about. So just those few words there, just let you know how much uh, family we love you and we're praying for you during this time. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Springfield congregation, Michaelis, and condolences from the Jackson congregation. We appreciate Sister Michelle tremendously. Her support down through the years and family indeed. She had a special relationship with the pastor that preceded me, my father, Pastor Hampton. I remember when she had a stroke of affliction, the call was made. And there was a special burden that the pastor possessed because he saw the unflinching faith. And he often taught divine healing, but from a ministerial perspective, he taught it that when a saint's faith steps out there, it obligates the ministry at another level. You know, you support everyone, but if you see a saint who actually steps out there well, and trusts God, it's a totally different ballgame. Seen him picking the action, all the saints, rather the saints together, and God raised her up. Yes, really yes. appreciate her having that testimony. I was thinking of there was a song that said, "The God of the Mountain is still God in the battle." And as Brother Mark alluded to the testimony that our sister had, many times you hear people speak strong of faith when they're feeling good. Come on. And hear people testify loud when things are going well. But I was thinking of this song, and the lyric said, When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my life thou hast taught me to say, it is well, yes. it is well yes. with my soul. Yes. The second verse says, Though Satan should buffet, no trials should come. Let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. We're thankful for the testimony our sister left as an example that no matter what the lot is, we're able to say through grace, it is well, it is well with my soul. Still following the order of service, at this time there will be remarks from the family and friends, and we will proceed in the order as is written in the program. Roxanne Reed, Cheryl Ray, Pamela Carter, so on and so forth, as you see in the program. Uh, if we can ensure that we uh, keep the remarks limited to two minutes for time's sake. Thank you.
that several decades ago, Sister Pamela Carter introduced Sister Michelle to our family. And she became my younger sister from another mother. <laughs> and at first, she was a little apprehensive about talking to us. She says, mm, we were under the scrutiny. But as time went on, she said, uh -huh, yeah, right, all right. We even gave her keys to the house. So if she and Sister Pam, both of them were given keys to access the house. And at the time, our mother was still there. And our mother said, that's my daughter. That's my child. She accepted her. So I'm grateful for the relationship we had, the times that she shared. And may I just say one additional thing. She had strong faith about how her healing was going to occur. Because recently, within the last several weeks, she says, I'm going to be driving. <laughs> just give me, let me get my car. Let me get my license again. I'm going to be driving. And I said, Sister Michelle, are you sure that's what you want? Oh, yes. I believe that's what I want to do. Yes, I'm going to get on the road again. Until we went out after some of the pandemic happened, she said, they folks are crazy out here. I said, I was wondering if you would notice. <laughs> and she said, well, Still, I have my dream if, if it works out. But um, keep the faith, keep together, keep the love of God flowing. And Brother Michaelis, God bless you. Yeah. Okay, may you and other family members be strengthened and stay on the journey so we can see her again. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I'm Mary Michelle and Pam, likewise. Me and Pam have been friends since we were in our early teens. So I met Michelle probably about 25 years ago. Uh, Pam brought her over to the house and we automatically clicked. She didn't give me any drama. So um, we became friends and I would talk to her just like I talked to Pam. If Michelle ain't there, that, if Pam ain't there, that Michelle's not. So a couple weeks ago, about three weeks ago, her and Pam came down for my granddaughter's graduation party. And I was just so happy to see both of them. And when it was time for them to go, I walked them to the car. Well, I told Pam to go get the car because where we were located was healing. And I told her to go get it. So me and Michelle were just like little kids. We were just swinging hands and talking. And I actually helped her get the car. And she was like, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> and I never knew that that would be the last time that I seen her. And that evening, my daughter said, Mom, you paid so much attention to the chef. She said, you forgot about your other guests. And I said, it was just something on me. And then when this happened, God was preparing me for her departure. But Michelle, I know I'll see you again. And I love you. And I love your family. Thank you.
I don't I wish it was still, I don't know if I got a miscommunication. They say, can you take this turkey? I say, yeah. Well, they say, take it so they can save it for them. But I wish it was still going to say it. I said, I don't remember what they say. I take the turkey. One day is gone. Turkey's still there. Two days gone. Ten. I said, did they give it to me or not? <laughs> All day. I said, that's it. I did turkey sandwich, turkey salad, all the kind of stuff with turkey. And then Sister Richard is like, oh my daughter, Sister Pam. I said, yes, Sister. We can't do the turkey. I said, the turkey? I said, yes. I said, this is what I got from the turkey. All bumps. Sister Richard was so upset. I said, check on you. Sister Richard started laughing so loud. She said, what? That's what happened when you give me something. I was like, I told you guys, no, you know Ben. I said, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. What you want to give me bones? What did I do with bones? Every time she says something, I have to have she says, just start laughing. She said, you got to cook another turkey for that? What can happen? You got another turkey for that? That was a memory that I remember that you can never forget about. Every time she says, you got another turkey for that? <laughs> But yeah, but we have some good times, some good memory. But well, that was one of the ones that she never forget about it. She always laughed, she always, you know, she was always quiet. But when we get together, we always be laughing and, and every time we talk about something, she reminded me the turkey. So that was a good memory to remember. That's what I try to say about her. But we gotta miss her, you know, miss her laugh. You know, I know she's in a better place right now. We gotta I know Ray Michaels, you know, we spend so much time together. You, my body, you know. Plus, you know, each other, you know, always got a special place for you. Every time we're together, she always talk about her brother, how much you love him. You know, so we gotta miss her.